pleasure I desire. I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed! I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm going to investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. Okay. How are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Sparkles. Crushed under sand. Oh, really nasty way to go. This looks like the exact spot where the white pumpkin appeared. But now, just a portrait. Unless... It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for a voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. It must have been a diversion from whatever was going on in the room at the time. What, like you think the White Pumpkin was in the room with us? Possibly. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before...
Okay. Let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of Just you like is before. the treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles. The whole show with the white pumpkin. It was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the white pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? Once we get everyone calmed down, we need to keep looking for clues. So far, we've found those tipped arrows and these traps, meaning that the White Pumpkin is a great brewer and a redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means that the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Me neither. Well, someone had to do it. I'm just looking at the facts here. I don't like it. No, sir. I don't like it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I've got a whole lot of questions and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you gonna interrogate first? Lizzie. Jesse, listen, there's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe, but I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone, probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan, Dan swoop in and take it from under my nose? So aggravating. Hang on, I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying, I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle-wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. Huh. Tri-block champion? Yeah, like two or three years in a row, if I recall correctly. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. But me and Dan have been competing to find that thing for years. If you're looking for a likely culprit, I'd look at that guy. I'll keep that in mind. Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy asked me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. 
That's all for now. Who's up next? Send Stampy in here. Right. Hello! That was, um, Lizzie on her way out, right? Listen, I don't know what she told you, but... Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy! 